Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey sports. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. Starting with the Temple Owls. They are 4-1 on the season. They will take on Memphis on Saturday. Let's get win number 5. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The Villanova Wildcats are 6-0 on the season. They will take on James Madison on Saturday. Let's get win number 7 of the season. Nova, Nova, Nova. The Penn Quakers are 1-2 on the season. They will take on Sacred Heart on Friday. Let's get win number 2. The Philadelphia Eagles are 3-2 on the season. They will take on the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday. Let's get in first place in the NFC East. Fly, Eagles, fly. The Philadelphia Flyers are off to a good start at 1-0-0 and have two points. They will take on the New Jersey Devils on Wednesday. Let's get win number two. Go, Flyers, go. The Philadelphia Union finished their MLS season with a 16-7-11 record. We can't wait to see them in the playoffs. Go Union! Good luck to all our local teams. It's time to recap the Temple Owls vs. East Carolina Pirates game. Temple had its quarterbacks go 27 of 39 for 253 yards. Starter Anthony Russo was 23 of 34 for 208 with a touchdown pass late in the third quarter to push the lead to 14. Brandon Mack had 9 receptions for 107 yards and Isaiah White 9 for 104 including a 7 yard score. Holton Ehlers was 19 of 39 for 229 yards and 2 touchdowns. The last coming with 29 seconds left for the Pirates. CJ Johnson had 8 catches for 100 yards with 10 catches of 14 yards to open the scoring and 10 to close it. Temple leads the series 9-8 having won all six matchups following the formation of the AAC. Good luck to the Temple Owls on Saturday as they play Memphis. It's time to recap the Eagles and Jets game. The New York Jets entered Sunday's game averaging just 11 points per game. In their last two contests, the Jets offense was unable to score a touchdown with quarterback Sam Darnold's sideline. With Darnold missing a third straight game due to Mono, the Eagles defense made sure quarterback Luke Falk, making only his second career start, never got going in a 31-6 win over New York on Sunday at Lincoln Financial Field. The Eagles defense, in fact, outscored the Jets. Linebacker Nathan Jerry returned an interception 51 yards for a touchdown in the first quarter a quarterback, Orlando Skandrick, making his Eagles debut, stripped the ball from Falk in the fourth quarter and returned the fumble, 44 yards to cap off a brilliant day for the defense. Philadelphia sacked the Jets quarterbacks 10 times. Falk 9, David Fales once. The most since 2014 when the Eagles posted 9 sacks against Carolina. Defensive end Brandon Graham led the way with a career-high three sacks, becoming the first Eagle with a hat-trick since defensive tackle Fletcher Cox had three in the 2018 regular season finale at Washington. In addition to Jerry's pick six, safety Rodney McCloyd intercepted Falk, giving the Eagles three turnovers on the day. The Eagles improved to 3-2 and two with the win. Philadelphia kicks off a three-game road trip next Sunday, against the Minnesota Vikings, who are also 3-2 after a 28-10 win over the Giants on Sunday. Good luck to the Eagles as they play the Vikings on Sunday. It's time for pick six. I went 5-1 last week, where Seattle gobbled the Rams. Eagles grounded the Jets. Baltimore flew over the Steelers, the Redskins are still winless, Minnesota slayed the G-Men, and Green Bay packed up the Cowboys. It's week 6 of the NFL season, which teams will win on Thursday and Sunday? Let's get started with the New York Football Giants versus New England Patriots. The New England Patriots are still undefeated, beating the Redskins 33-7. 
The G-Men got wet by the Vikings 28-10 at MetLife. I predict the New England Patriots will go to 6-0 and sack Daniel Jones. Go Pats, go! Carolina Panthers versus Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Carolina Panthers are 3-2 on the season, winning 34-27 over the Jaguars. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers lost in New Orleans 31-24 at the Superdome. I predict the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win and make the Panthers walk the plank. Philadelphia Eagles versus Minnesota Vikings. The Philadelphia Eagles are tied for first place in the NFC East, winning 31-6 over the New York Jets. The Minnesota Vikings slayed the Giants 28-10 at MetLife. Sorry Vikings fans! I have the Eagles winning in Minnesota. Fly, Eagles, fly. Washington Redskins versus Miami Dolphins. A battle of the winless teams. What has gotten into the Redskins this season? They have lost five consecutive games to start the season to Philadelphia, Dallas, Chicago, New York Giants, and New England. They also fired Jay Gruden as head coach after a 0-5 start. Bill Callahan will be the interim head coach for the rest of the season. The Dolphins are 0-4 on the season, looking for their first win. I have the Washington Redskins winning their first game of the season. Hail to the Redskins! Dallas Cowboys vs. New York Jets the Dallas Cowboys have lost two straight games at New Orleans and against the Packers. They are 3-2 on the season. What is wrong with the New York Jets? The plane has landed. Losing to Buffalo, Cleveland, New England, and Philadelphia. I predict the New York Jets to get their first win of the season and stop Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott. Pittsburgh Steelers versus Los Angeles Chargers. The Pittsburgh Steelers are back in the lost column again, losing to Baltimore 26-23. They lost Mason Rudolph with a concussion injury. The LA Chargers lost to Denver 20-13 in Carson. They are 2-3 on the season. Sorry Steelers fans, the Los Angeles Chargers are going to take the win. Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments warning. We will talk to you next week.